Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ethan and in today's video, we are going Christmas shopping for my home. Christmas decorating is one of my favorite things. When I was a kid, I looked forward to holiday decorating for both like Halloween and Christmas pretty much the entire year. There's just something about it that really makes me feel like a child again. It is so important when you live in a place like Los Angeles where the weather is pretty much mild year round to make your home feel in alignment with the holidays, specifically around fall and winter because it's kind of hard to get in the spirit if you're just relying on what's going on outdoors to like inspire you. For example, today's high is 80 degrees, so definitely not Christmas weather, but we're gonna do the best that we can to get in the spirit. We're gonna go get some coffee, we're gonna go thrifting at one point, we're gonna go to a huge list of stores that I've compiled. I will put them all right here because naming it out is just gonna take a minute. I may not buy every single item that I find that I like, but we're gonna get a lot today. There's a lot on my list that I need to buy because like I said earlier, I don't have any Christmas decorations. So we're starting from a pretty clean foundation in my home. If this video sounds interesting to you, please be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and get comfortable because we are about to get started. It's already too hot outside. I had to take this off. Like I said, it's like 80 degrees here, so it definitely doesn't feel like Christmas, but maybe when we get in the, the decor section, it'll feel like Christmas. coffee and we are ready to go shopping so the first place that we're gonna hit up is home goods because it opens at 10 which is in like 20 minutes and the closest home goods to me is like probably 15 minutes away or so and then after that we're gonna go to Century City Mall and go to Anthropology and I believe there's a shop called terrain it's like connected to Anthropology and they sell like plants and some home decor items as well. So we're just gonna go check out and see what the selection is at those spots and get started with our shopping experience. All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, we're at Home Goods. Let's see if they've got anything good for us. This is so cute. I used to collect nutcrackers when I was younger. I want to start a collection now that I'm in Los Angeles because all my other ones are at my parents' house back in North Carolina. Do I get this? Okay, I'm not finding too much I love here, but I actually do really like these. We just got to Century City Mall. We are going to hit up Anthropology, but I have to be honest, Anthropology is not exactly my style. It's like a little too whimsical for me, but I think it's still worth checking out because you just never know when you might find something special. Also, Christmas is like a whimsical holiday, so it's, you know, probably a higher likelihood I'll find something I like. So yeah, let's go check it out. Maybe the shot glasses. 
This is too funny. They're selling the mirror that everyone buys from here, but as a Christmas ornament. <laughs> It's iconic. Okay guys, I actually did find a couple things at Anthropology, and I found also a couple things at Terrain. Now we're gonna head to Beverly Hills and head up Pottery Barn, Crate and Barrel, and I think that's it over there. And then after that, we're probably gonna need to get food because I can already see my energy declining as we're going through these shopping experiences. <laughs> I love this table runner so much, but with the rug in my dining room, it would be probably a little too busy. These are really cool, but I'm gonna try to find some vintage candlesticks like this when I go to the thrift store later. Okay, honestly, Pottery Barn didn't have much. I feel like everything was either too farmhouse or it just kind of felt like something I could find at a thrift store. It's also not cheap either, <laughs> so was not trying to buy any of that stuff, but we're gonna go check out Crate and Barrel and see what they have. for Halloween, which I picked up, but I love that these are like A-frame houses, like cabins or something. Those are really cool. This kind of looks like a hotel. I just don't know where I would put these because on the mantle, I want to do greenery. So I don't know if there'd be a ton of room, but we'll see. Okay guys, we just left Beverly Hills, which is a lot. Beverly Hills and Rodeo and all that is just so like humbling <laughs> amongst many other things. It's just a lot of people, a lot of tourists. It's just a really interesting energy if I'm being super honest, but I enjoyed my food at Erewhon and we found a couple things at Crate and Barrel, so I am excited about those. But now we're gonna go check out CB2 and see what they have. I did look at their website and it didn't seem like there was a ton. I feel like CB2 doesn't normally do a ton for holidays, um, not just Christmas, but also like Halloween as well. But we'll still go and see. Uh, what they have and then after that we're gonna go to Target which I'm very excited about because I feel like a lot of what I've been finding today is like stuff you could find at Target like Crate and Barrel for example a lot of it looked like stuff you could get at Target but it's of course like three to four times the price so fingers crossed Target comes through because while I have found a lot today I feel like I still need so much more so we'll see CB2 Target and then after that, can't remember 
where we're going on the itinerary. I want to say World Market and then West Elm and then the thrift store. There's still so many places to go to and it's 1.40, so we're doing a pretty good time, but still so much to do. <laughs> CB2 and now we're gonna head up Target and West Hollywood. Out of all the Targets in LA, that one has the biggest selection for home goods. So I'm excited about Target. I think it's gonna be fun. So there's a part of me that wants to get fake garland and sticks and greenery and stuff just because it'll last forever but my tree is already gonna be fake so i want to try to get real stuff honestly this looks really real <laughs> okay, wait i found a whole other christmas section oh my god these little mini trees and the little mini collars why do I kind of want one of these? The way the chicken sparkles. The non-reflective or like the non-glossy blue color. This one is so pretty. I really love that. Wait, this color too. I wish I could just build my own ornament pack. All right guys, next on the list is World Market. I'm pulling up to the Grove right now and it's 3.30. I have a few items I've actually seen online that I am on the hunt for from World Market. So definitely excited to see if I can find them and find anything else that's special and festive. So yeah, let's go check it out. Okay guys, the Grove was a hit and now we are at the thrift store because they close at five and it's 4.30. So I wanna find a few vintage pieces, ideally silver ones like candlestick holders or silver bowls, just that sort of like vintage, silvery, like family heirloom, those types of pieces. But I also wanna find vintage artwork as well because I wanna hang a few pieces above my mantle and then, yeah, we'll see what else we can find. The surf store always has really cool stuff. All right, let's go check it out.
Okay, you guys, good news and bad news. Good news is we are done shopping. Bad news is I didn't find anything at the thrift store, which is kind of shocking. I feel like I almost always find stuff there, but for whatever reason this time around, I didn't. Um, there were a few pieces that I saw that I kind of liked, but wasn't 100% sold on. And I don't know, when I'm shopping, I don't really like to rush. Like, I like to kind of let the pieces find me, especially when I'm thrifting. Not just when I'm shopping, but when I'm thrifting specifically, I don't like to rush. But we are all wrapped up. Let's get to the house and do our haul. Okay, first of all, I've made the last minute executive decision to uh, like say that let's just go to West Elm and get a few ornaments. And then the next thing is that I forgot it was daylight savings time last night. I think it's daylight savings time. Um, basically like we got an extra hour of sleep, but now it's five o'clock and it's almost dark outside. Meaning by the time that I get home, there's not gonna be lighting to do a haul. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna go pick up these last few things and then call it a night. And afterwards we're gonna wake up the next day and I'm gonna show you guys everything I got. So uh, yeah. We are like five minutes away from West Elm, so let's go make our last stop, see what they've got, grab our final few pieces, and then wrap this whole shopping experience up. a whole new day and we are gonna unbox all of the Christmas decor I picked up yesterday. So I went out to my car and grabbed everything this morning. To be honest, I feel like I went to so many places yesterday. I don't really remember what all I got, but we're just gonna, you know, dig into it all right now together from the comfort of the floor in my living room. Let me actually adjust this just a little bit. Is that better? I can't tell. I feel like a minute ago my head was sitting so low. Maybe we'll go in the order of the stores that I went to. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. All right, first on our list we have Home Goods. Now, no hate to the Home Goods community because I know so many people love that store, but I struggle in Home Goods. It's a little overwhelming, like the amount of items that are in there. And when it comes to decor for holidays, I feel like Home Goods has a lot of stuff that feels very literal. There home decor for me is a lot of times, God, I'm literally out of breath from carrying that stuff. That's so embarrassing. Um, but I feel like a lot of the items at Home Goods can just feel like a lot. And so I, of course, wanted to find pieces that felt like they would fit my home and kind of play more into the holiday vibe, but from more of like a color perspective or like shapes or different things like that versus like getting a literal like big snowman statue. I think I made the same exact reference when it came to my Halloween decor. I was talking about how like a lot of the items I like for my home for Halloween are more inspired versus literally like big skeletons or putting like an eight foot tall Dracula statue in my living room. Not gonna lie, that'd actually be kind of sick, but I'm probably never gonna do it. Getting into home goods, first item is this pot thing, like pot pad. That's a, that's a terrible name for this. I actually don't, what even is this? You know, to be honest, I actually don't know what this is called, but basically when you have like a really hot pot or something that's been in the oven, because I'm probably gonna bake quite a bit or try to cook a bit more, or maybe, you know, have some dinner parties during the holiday season. I feel like this could come in handy. And I thought the little dots on it, like the design was kind of fun. 
So yeah, I like this. The next item from Home Goods is this tree. <laughs> you know, like I said, just things that feel more holiday inspired versus like too heavy on the holiday spirit. Not trying to be the Grinch here, just I, some stuff, it would just look out of place in my apartment. Um, you know, I'm not gonna lie, these like more modern or minimal Christmas trees always make me feel a little interesting just because of the jokes people make about them on TikTok, but I'm not gonna get into what the jokes are. This one kind of looked cool. I did like this one. I thought the wood that they used for it was nice. So yeah, wooden Christmas tree. The final item from Home Goods is this little green marble coaster. I actually don't even know what I'm gonna use this for, but I thought the green marble was really nice and it was only $5. So I might put this on my bar I'm not 100% sure. It might end up going in the dining room. It's TBD. You'll have to watch my decorating video coming out next week if you wanna find out where I put all of this stuff. So yeah, that is Home Goods. Where do we go next? Anthropology. Here is what I got from Anthropology and Terrain. Earlier when I was in the car, I had mentioned that I didn't think I was gonna find anything because a lot of what they carry at Anthro is like super whimsical and pretty feminine to be honest. Whereas a lot of like what I tend to go for is more modern or minimal or Scandinavian. Yeah, I think that Anthro tends to not have many pieces like that, but I did find a couple things I really like. Look at how nice the wrapping paper is. I don't even know if you can see that. So the first item that I found is this really cool snowflake candlestick holder. This is just so like Danish, Scandinavian. This one was $26 and I feel like this is gonna look really nice with a green or red candlestick in it. It's like a stone texture, like it's pretty weighty. It feels like a really nice piece. And when I brought this up to the register, the girl was like, wait, I haven't even seen these. And she loved them and obviously I love them too because I bought them, but I told her that I was like, yeah, they were like buried really low on like one shelf. They weren't like one of the main pieces out on display in the store but yeah here's this one and then for the other thing I got from anthropology it was just you know another one but just a different shape this one's a little bit larger this one was 32 these are gonna be really pretty a lot of the furniture in my apartment is pretty dark like you can see my wall unit but then also my bar cabinet all of those areas where you would put stuff like this are pretty dark so it's nice to find things that contrast that and then the pieces that I got from terrain are these super pretty star ornaments. They're like mirrored and the, the glass is sort of antique. I'm gonna try to get this close so you can really see. I don't know if it's focusing or not, but yeah. So I got two of these and then to go with that, I got a couple of the moons. So we have the star and the moon. This is also that antique glass. I need to do what the beauty influencers do and just put my hand in front of it. <laughs> All right, the next store we went to after Pottery Barn, which I didn't get anything there, uh, was Crate and Barrel. So the first item from Crate and Barrel is this really pretty wreath. It features a really beautiful, like kind of crimson velvet ribbon and then jingle bells. I thought this would look cool just hanging on a wall or somewhere, maybe like over a doorway or something in my apartment. Um, so that's kind of my idea for that. I love the like antique brass look of this and then the color of the ribbon. Okay, the next item from Crate and Barrel is probably one of my favorite items I picked up today. I'm so excited to show these to you guys. <laughs> I got these snowmen salt and pepper shakers. Let me get the other one out. Guys, look at these. I love them so much. My kitchen is so gray and white and I feel like I like to warm it up with little pops of wood. When I saw these, I was just like, okay, I've got to get those. They are, I actually don't even know how much I paid for these. There's not even a price on them. Wait, I actually don't even know how much I paid for these. These are probably like 25 to $35 each. Um, but so worth it, make me really happy, just so cute. Okay, and then after Crate and Barrel, we went to Crate and Barrel Sister, CB2. I was a little nervous when I went to CB2 because everything felt very glam, like super shiny and sort of um, art deco. Is that what that style is called? I don't know, but I wasn't super drawn to anything at first. And then when I dug in a little bit, I found some pieces that I liked. So first thing that I got is this USB lighter. It's called the Major, I, I really hope that you guys can see this. I don't know if you can. 
but it's called the Major, and it's just like a USB rechargeable lighter. I was waiting for them to make a USB lighter that looked really attractive. I have one that I bought from Amazon, and it literally looks like a vape or like an e-cigarette. This one's kind of like a beige, like cream color. And this one's also longer. Like the way that this one works is better for actually lighting candles with. So yeah, this was $30, I think. Very excited to use this. It is definitely gonna come in handy. Next from CB2 is the Beam Shiny Mixed Ornament Pack. These were kind of expensive. This is $24.99 for six ornaments. Let me open it up for you. I got three packs of these, so um, I hope that's enough for my tree. The colors look really nice, and the ornaments look really well made too. Deep red, smoked dark green, antique yellow brown color. This one's more like a true brown. It's kind of dark. Oh, this color is really nice. It's kind of like a teal green color. I'm really excited to show you guys how I'm gonna decorate my tree. To be honest, I don't really have a vision, but all of the individual pieces and things I've been getting for it look really nice, so I think it's gonna come together quite well. Here are the other two boxes of those. And then the last thing that I got from CB2 is this beautiful Christmas tree topper. I love the way that this looks. And I wanna say it was like $19. Yeah, $20. I feel like that's a pretty good price. It's very pretty. I think it's gonna look really nice. Do you guys like this? I think this is cool because it almost looks a little vintage, like something you might pick up at a thrift store or like it might be like a hand-me-down from your grandparents or something. I wish I had more of my actual hand-me-down items from my grandparents and my family's house like I mentioned earlier that I have a whole nutcracker collection back home like when I was little every year for Christmas I would get a nutcracker and so I have a really big collection at my parents house but when I moved from the east coast to the west coast I just didn't take any of those things with me because I was really only focused on bringing my essentials when I moved here maybe when I go home this Christmas I'll have to take a few family heirloom holiday pieces back with me that way I've got like authentic vintage decor or like family like holiday decor. Okay, the next place that we went is World Market. I really love World Market, but I didn't find a lot that felt like the style I was going for this year. However, the few things I did find I really love, so let me show you guys. The first thing is these silver taper candles. These were $1.99. Pretty good price. I love for holidays swapping out my normal candles. Like, I don't know if you can see in the background, there's a pillar candle that's burning on like a white tray. Like swapping stuff like that out for colored version, like green, red for Christmas. And in case the silver just looked like too much, I also got these red and green ones. The colors are so pretty. These are $3.99, so each candlestick is $2. Not much to say, they just look really good. <laughs> and then you can probably guess what this is. More jingle bells. I got this bell garland, which just, you can see the bells are sort of um, like antique looking. Thought this would look really nice over the fireplace and also maybe like in a window or something. I'm not 100% sure where I'm gonna put this, but I got two of them. And these were each $14.99. And that's it from World Market. Oh wait, I just realized I didn't even show you what I got from Target. And technically I went to Target before World Market, so. Let me grab the Target stuff real quick. Okay, well first things first, I got these storage bins because when I went to put up all of my Halloween decor, I had to get crafty with any sort of like storage stuff I had available. So this year for Christmas, I was like, I'm gonna make sure I get storage bins ahead of time. That way I'm not like trying to clean up and don't have anywhere to put my decor. So I think these bins were $8.99 a piece, which they're pretty big. I think two will be plenty uh, to store my Christmas stuff, so. All right, the first thing from Target is this Cinnamon Joy scented pillar candle. And if you can see on the screen, there's like a little bit of a ribbed texture to it. I wanna say this was like $6.99 and I bought one of these during autumn and it was like a orange pumpkin spice scented pillar candle. And I feel like for $6.99, it's like a pretty big candle and it smells really great. So yeah, there's that. The next thing that I got is this wreath holder. I thought the color of this was really cool. It's kind of like a brown, brass, sort of like a burnt umber type color. I don't have a wreath for it yet, but this will probably go on my front door, but gotta find a really nice wreath for that. So that will also be in my Christmas 
decorating video if you watch that when it comes out next week. The other thing that I got is this pack of mantle clips for my fireplace. I had stockings on my list yesterday for me to buy and I just couldn't find any that really spoke to me. So I have not gotten stockings yet for my fireplace, but hopefully I can find them soon from somewhere. I might order them online. There's actually quite a few items that I either have already ordered online or I will order online. And I know I keep mentioning my video that I'm gonna be doing next, which is my Christmas decorating video, but I will show you guys any additional purchases that I've made online in that video. So there will probably be stockings to go with these in the next video. The next item is so cute. It's a little golden retriever ornament. Um, I'm not gonna give too many details, but there may or may not be a reason I bought myself this ornament. <laughs> The next item is this pour over coffee ornament, which I just thought was really well made. Like it was $5 and it's real glass. It looks really nice. I'm the biggest coffee fan ever. I love coffee. So I needed some sort of ornament that kind of spoke to that a little bit. For my next item, I mentioned earlier when I was shopping at Target that I wanted to get real greenery for my home. My tree is going to be fake this year. Uh, I've already ordered it. It's on its way. But so because of that, I wanted to make all my wreaths and garlic and those types of things real, but I did end up buying one little mini wreath because honestly, this looks really real to me. It is the Cedar Artificial Wreath with Berries and it was $12.99. Last thing from Target is command strips so that I can mount garland around places. We are getting close to the end of the video, but our next shop is William Sonoma. The first item we have from there, I absolutely love. I think this is going to look so good in my kitchen. It is these green tartan, tartan napkins. These feel amazing. The quality feels really good. I love the shade of green. Let me open them. I can show them to you guys real quick. It's giving a little farmhouse type of vibe. I honestly probably won't use them as like dinner napkins. I'll probably use them as like to dry my hands off, like in my kitchen that I can like wipe my hands if I like wash them. The other item that I got from William Sonoma is a Christmas tree ornament. It's a little French press. Like I said, I love coffee, so I'm doing, doing some coffee themed things. This is my Christmas tree, so I get to put everything that I love on it. I love the way it looks. Very pretty. And then our final item from William Sonoma, because I have to get a mug every time I'm shopping for a season, is this Grinch coffee mug. There's like detailing on the inside too. This mug was $14.95. It just looks vintage and classic, and I like the way it feels in my hand. It's really nice. There's little Whoville people on the inside. <laughs> Can you see that? My apartment is a mess with all the paper right now. For our last store, we have a little something from West Elm. This is for all my friends out there who love their architecture stuff. I got these mid-century home ornaments that look like little landscapes with the tree, the home itself. So I got a red one and I also got a green one. Oh my God, wait, I just realized these light up. Hold up. <laughs> Very cool. Okay guys, that concludes today's video. I had so much fun bringing you guys along, going Christmas shopping for my home. Hopefully you found a thing or two that you wanna pick out for your home. I will say, while I have had fun doing this video, I am most excited for my video I'm doing next, which is my decorating video, where I'm gonna decorate my whole home. So be sure to subscribe to my channel if you wanna see that, because if all goes well with items getting delivered here, it'll be going live next week. Happy holidays. This is the kickoff to the season. I hope you guys had fun watching. Be sure to drop a comment and let me know if there's a store that I missed that I should go check out. Be sure to let me know about that store. I appreciate you taking the time to watch and I will catch you on the next video. Bye guys.